Woods Apartment is a dance and jazz concert that features an all-women band celebrating African-American musical geniuses Mary Lou Williams and Melba Liston. The concert takes place on Saturday, December 1st at 8 p.m. at Ashkenaz, 1317 San Pablo Avenue in Berkeley. For details, call 510-525-5054. The community calendar is produced by members of the First Voice Apprenticeship Program. Send your listing at least four weeks in advance to KPFA Box 51, 1929 Martin Luther King Jr. Way in Berkeley, California, 94704. Or email us at calendar at kpfa.org. Tell us if your event is wheelchair accessible. To hear this calendar again, call 510-848-6767, extension 621. This calendar is also online at kpfa.org. 94.1 94.1 KPFA and 89.3 KPFB in Berkeley, 88.1 KFCF in Fresno, and 97.5 K248BR in Santa Cruz, as well as online at kpfa.org. Apex Express, Asian Pacific Expression. coverage, music and calendar, new visions and voices, coming to you with an Asian Pacific Islander point of view. It's time to get on board the Apex Express. Welcome to Apex Express, news and views with an Asian and Asian American point of view. For the special No Thanksgiving show, we have guest host Zuha Khan. Hey, you're tuned in to KPFA's Apex Express. You can find us online at A-P-E-X Express dot O-R-G And this is your guest host for the evening Zuha Khan And uh, yeah, I've prepared tonight's Thanksgiving episode of Apex Express Um, The theme is No Thanksgiving Uh, And yeah, basically uh, I've picked artists who are from areas that have been heavily impacted by American and Western imperialism as well as settler colonialism, uh, meaning, you know, music from Native folks. And I have included, uh, like, revolutionary stalwarts in the music world, like fellow Kuti's son, Sion Kuti. Uh, This show is kind of a fun and defiant reminder that Native folks were in North America before the British and Europeans, and a reminder of how strong folks from countries affected by Western imperialism are. So, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy today's uh, episode of Apex Express um, featuring, you know, music on these themes. Um, If you're interested in more of the work I do, again, my name is Zuha Khan. I'm also uh, known as DJ Bakwas on BFF.FM, which is a local online radio station in the city. And uh, you can find my show there every other Saturday at 10 in the morning. And, yeah, the website is bff.fm. So on to our first track. It will be uh, Sh- uh, Shukwan Mak Shetu Tamak. Uh, this is by Group Folklorique Montagne. And this is off of the record label Light in the Attic's famous compilation, Native North America, Volume 1. So Group Folklorique Montagne is a Canadian First Nations musical group. And I hope you all enjoy the song.
and repeat himself The only sound you heard was someone talking And the sound of the fire making love Deep inside the soul the spirit's listening Keeping them in line with nature's own Up above the silver bow is gleaming Giving light to guide us through the night Ah, oh, but now we have an ugly spirit no. And he walks around in a good disguise And he comes in the color of our people You can always see it in her eyes Killing a man, killing a kind Always wonder if they do mind The smoke is blown in four directions Red gold throws tobacco on the fire I had a vision that just don't have a meaning Maybe I'm just blinded by the day I seen some people laughing at the other Just because they were living their native way I say now we have an ugly spirit And he walks around in a good disguise He also comes in the color of our people Oh yes he does You can always see it in their eyes Killing their mind, killing their kind Always wonder if they do mind Killing their mind, killing their kind Always wonder if they do mind I was wondering if they do mind Killing the mind, killing the kind I was wondering if they do mind When they Welcome back. This is your guest host, Zuha Khan, and you're listening to KPFA's Apex Express. You can find us online at apexpress.org. And um, yeah, that last track that you all heard was Killing Your Mind, and this is by Willie Mitchell and the Desert River Band. They are a Canadian First Nations musician. And Willie Mitchell also co-organized the Sweetgrass Festival in 1980 in Val d'Or, Quebec, uh, which gathered Inuit and First Nations musicians from across Canada. Um, that was a really big deal at the time. And the album, or yeah, the this track came off the Native North America Volume One album put out by Light in the Attic Records, which is out in Seattle. Prior to this track, you all heard Mr. President, and that's by a band called Del Grey, and off their album, Mo Jodi, and Del Grey is a powerful trio, and they call themselves the missing link between French, Caribbean, and U.S. cultures. I believe they're based in France, and the band is named um, after Louis Del Grey, a Guadalupian Creole colonel in Napoleon's army who martyred himself in the early 1800s, um, resisting France's attempt to retake the territory and reinstitute slavery less than 10 years after it had won independence. So, yeah, um, really great, you know, shout out there. Um, yeah, prior to that track, 
you all heard Still the Same by Neve and the Dear Children. This is off of their album Feet First, which came out on Glitterhouse Records. Um, they tout themselves as Inuit indie rock, and they're from Nuke, Greenland. And a couple of facts about her. Um, so Neve is really cool. Uh, the first concert she ever played was for the Queen of Denmark on national television. Uh, she's acted in a Hollywood movie, The New World, starring Colin Farrell, and is actually Inuit, or Inuk, um, which is indigenous Greenlander. So, um, yeah, she's also worked with John Parrish and um, folks from the Black Keys and Wolf Parade. So, yeah, I really like her music. And, um, yeah, up next is actually another track by Neve and the Dear Children called Are You Ready? So... Let's get to it. And, uh, yeah, before I get into that, um, just wanted to say if you like the tunes that you are hearing so far, you can find me on BFF.FM. I'm on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Uh, and I'm DJ Bakwas, also known as the Suha Khan.
خسروا وقتلوا وخطفوا جوع قلبي تمزع بالضلوع يلي بين الامم تنادي موت وخيم بلادي هجره وقتلوا وخطفوا جوع قلبي تمزع بالضلوع
Lotta. I did bring some news and I did bring some tidings of the Lotta. It's a ticket bomb. My brother make you care about the Lotta. It's a ticket bomb. My sister make you care about the Lotta. The times they teach us about black protection, feel the Lotta. The times they teach us about black reflection, yeah, the You understand your history, you feel the Lotta. That moment, you see, we never free, you feel the Lotta. Ah. Where the black dream, brother? Where the black dream, sister? Where the black information, the so-called black education? The black journey is a mystery. With the black fashion of the history, the black story for the children, the black truth for the youth. Society and expose the truth. Let the black light shine. Make it expose of the evil hiding in the darkness. Let the black light shine into our hearts and into our soul. Let the black light shine. On we path, let it guide the fool. Let the black light shine. From society and expose the truth. Let the black light shine. Make it expose of the evil hiding in the darkness. Let the black light shine.
come my people. And we're back. You're listening to KPFA's Apex Express, and this is your guest host of the evening, Zuha Khan. Uh, I'm also known as DJ Bakwas on BFF.FM, and I have a show there every other Saturday at 10 a.m. So if you like the sounds you're currently hearing, uh, you should check out my show. It's called Fractal Chambers. Now, uh, the music I have um, been playing for you all and will continue to play uh, is centered around the theme, No Thanks, Giving and is music made by artists who are from areas that have been heavily impacted by American and Western imperialism, as well as settler colonialism. The track that you all just heard was Black Times featuring Carlos Santana, and the track itself was by Sion Kriti in the Egypt 80. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because Sion is Fela Kriti's son. And um, yeah, I mean... He's based in Nigeria, and basically after Fela Kuti died in 1997, Sian, who was only 14 years old, uh, became the lead singer of Egypt to 80, and uh, he continues to put out fantastic music. So hope you all enjoyed that last track. Prior to that was Green Peppermint by Eham Ahmed and Edgar Nate. This is off of their album Keys to Friendship. So, um, Aham Ahmed might sound a little familiar to you, to you all. Um, there was quite a bit of news coverage about him because he was known as Syria's piano man. So, yeah, he's a Syrian refugee. Um, and before that, he was a Palestinian refugee. He grew up in the Syrian, um, uh, in a Syrian refugee camp for Palestinians in Yarmouk and um, became known for videos of him uh, playing piano on the bombed-out streets of his neighborhood near Damascus. This was back in 2013. Um, Currently, he's a refugee in Germany with his family, and um, yeah, this album, Keys to Friendship, is an album of Palestinian and Syrian folk songs, and this song that I I chose to play for you all, called Green Peppermint, is Ahmed's personal recollection of his life before and during the war. And so he sings in Arabic. uh, Syria cries for its people to come home, waiting for the promise for relief. Remember the green peppermint waiting for you to water it with your tears, which are filled with sorrow and joy every day. The song was written by his friend Amr Helwani. Um, Yeah, and um, yeah, it's just... A very um, moving uh, track, and I thought you all would uh, appreciate hearing. Prior to that track, you all heard Are You Ready by Neve and the Dear Children off of their album Feet First. And yeah, they're in an Inuit indie rock band from Nuke, Greenland. So let's get to our next track, which is by Vic Lone. Um, and the CBC band off of the album Saigon Rock and Roll. The track is Tinya Tiet Wat, and it's from the early 60s, or sorry, late 60s, early 70s. Um, They're a Vietnamese band popular in South Vietnam during the war.
reputation Your crowd is corrupted You need a new occupation You keep your holy book in one hand You shoot your gun with your other hand You kill your mother You kill your brother
Welcome back. You're tuned in to KPFA's Apex Express. You can find us online at apex, A-P-E-X, express.org. And I'm your guest host for the evening, Zuha Khan, also known as DJ Bakwas. If you've been enjoying the tunes that um, I've been playing for you all lately, you can also catch me on the regular at bff.fm. I have a show there every other Saturday at 10 a.m., so tune in. And, um, yeah, the, um, the set for this, um, past hour has been no thanks giving. So that's been my theme for a fitting day and we're pretty much at the end. So let me track, uh, let me talk a little bit about the tracks I played for you all. So, uh, that last track was called Yaram Bia. Um, it's a cover by an Iranian band called Kiosk, featuring Mohsen Namju, and is originally by a Tajik artist named Mubarak Sho. So uh, Mubarak Sho was a Tajik singer, songwriter, and actor, and was known as a pioneer of Tajik rock music, and unfortunately passed away, um, I think, in the, um, in the 2000s. Um, and Kiosk is a rock band formed in Tehran in 2003, and it's known um, for its blend of musical styles and its wry lyrics con- uh, confronting Iranian cultural angst. And um, I love that they featured Mohsen Namju in um, this cover, a Yaram Bia. Uh, some people call Mohsen Namju the, um, he's kind of a Bob Dylan of Iran. So yeah, um, check out his work as well. Um, prior to that track, you all heard Brain Drain. This is by the band Cobble Dreams, uh, off of their album Megalomaniacs. So they're like the first indie rock band from Afghanistan. Uh, they established themselves in Kabul in 2008, and the band's motivation to perform came from their own love of music, uh, but also from a public hunger for a new life after war. During the war... Um, during the war, they kind of all scattered to neighboring countries, and then around um, 2008 had kind of come back to their country. Um, yeah, um, what's interesting is that they now live in the Bay Area. They actually live in Oakland and have played in the area, too. So if you like their music, um, check them out. I know they've played at Bottom of the Hill, and um, I think they've also played at the Brick and Mortar in San Francisco. Um, yeah. So I think that's interesting, though, how, you know, the countries we invade, how um, the folks from there end up coming um, to our country as well. And that kind of has to do with the fact that we uh, did a lot of damage. Um, There was already damage being done there um, by internal forces, but we escalated it quite a bit. Um, And that's a bit of an understatement. Prior to that track, you all heard Tinya Tuyet Bois, The Greatest Love, by Vic Lohn and the CBC Band. This is off of uh, Sublime Frequency's album. It's a compilation called Saigon Rock and Roll, Vietnamese classic tracks from 1968 to 1974. So this band was really popular in South Vietnam during the Vietnam War. Um, They're made up of a family of... um, Four Vietnamese folks and uh, the CDC discovered that they could earn money by playing Western rock music for American soldiers in Saigon. Um, but yeah, so that's all the time we have for this evening. I hope you all enjoyed my music picks um, for tonight. And yeah, again, this is Apex Express and... Um, I was the guest host, Zuha Khan, and if you liked what you heard, you can catch me at BFF.fm on Saturdays at 10 a.m. The show is Fractal Chambers. Thanks again, Apex Express, for having me on to guest. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you all did too. Thanks for tuning in.
Join KPFA for its next monthly movie matinee for a timely screening of the politically charged satirical movie Wag the Dog. This 1997 film stars Robert De Niro and Dustin Hoffman in a dark comedy about a spin doctor and Hollywood producer who collude to fabricate a fake war to distract voters from a presidential sex scandal two weeks before the election. That's show business. Mm-hmm. That's why we're here. The American people bought that war. Mm-hmm. War is show business. That's why we're here. The movie's social commentary on today's political climate is eerily uncanny. Wag the Dog screens on Thanksgiving weekend, Saturday, November 24th at 3 p.m. at the New Parkway in Oakland. For ticket information, visit kpfa.org or the newparkway.com. You're listening to 94.1 KPFA, 89.3 KPFB in Berkeley, 88.1 KFCF in Fresno, 97.5 K248BR in Santa Cruz, and online at 